Good evening, everyone. My name is David. I'm from Indonesia. Currently, I'm working as a full stack developer in CSR Manager. So I've been doing React for one year till now. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So today, oh sorry. Thank you for having me. <laughs> this is my first time talking in the public. Yeah. So I'm quite a bit nervous. So today I'm talking about uh, how to conquer form in React. So yeah, this is a very basic topics, but I think it's quite essential for us to understand. Yeah. So why form? Yeah, we cannot attend this meetup without the form. So when you when you click the OK button, it's a form actually, right? It's giving the response to the server if you want to attend this meetup or not. Yeah, form is everywhere. You 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 cannot avoid form. Form is even when you type message in the WhatsApp is actually also a form. Yeah, we all agree we need form. <laughs> okay, so that's the background why I uh, picked this topic for our for us today. Yeah. So let's get to basic. So how we're gonna do form? Uh, in React, it's very simple. You just um, bind the state into the input. So first you need to put this this state this state into on change and put this this state dot value into the value. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, is it life is beautiful with this? I don't think so, right? Because if you have a lot of inputs, you need to manage. I don't think this is a good solution for you. So problem is not solved actually. Okay. So before I'm going to deep uh, discussion with form, I would like to represent and design. So this is the UI component that, that I've been using for this one year with React. So within one, 10 years of web development, so I've been doing PHP and jQuery. So yeah, I've been uh, quite lucky with this company. They accept me without any knowledge in React. But yeah, uh, I think I can pick up and with this, this one year, I can make the platform running well until now. Yeah, so what is NDesign? So NDesign is actually an enterprise class UI components for React. So they are uh, based in China. So if you know N Financial, so N Financial is using N Design as their UI component. Okay, and they have a lot of set of high quality React component out of the box, right? And it's type and it's written in TypeScript actually. Yeah. So all the all package is actually a development and design resource and tools. Okay. So let me show you some demos that I prepared for you. Okay, can I find my mouse? <laughs> okay, so I think I'm the only one using Windows <laughs> in this. Okay, so, um, sorry. Yeah, so I have created two pages to present this. So one is the login pages. Sorry, login page, and second one is the registration page. So um, in NDesign, they have a form object. So form object, sorry, form class. So for, with form class, you can change a React component and make it a, a form object to manage the form, actually. So what you can do is, uh, in the form, you can extract the get field decorator. Oh, sorry. It's not as easy as make to <laughs> make it bigger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, let me put 18. Okay. <laughs> it's only make the UI bigger, sorry. Uh, I don't think this one. Editor. Editor. Okay. 
somebody here using <laughs> IntelliJ also. Good to know. Yeah. 18, okay. Yeah. All right. Everyone can see? All right. So basically, you can extract the get field decorator function from the prop sum. So after you create the form from the component, so it will populate the form properties inside your React component. So this this properties it will be available for you to manage the form inside your uh, component. So what you can do with this function is basically you can wrap your input component with this field decorator. So first you need to put the what is the field's name and then the rules. The rules is basically to validate your input. Okay, so for for this uh, fields, I will, I will make it required, and then the message will be uh, please input your username. Yeah. So this is how you uh, wrap the input. So the benefit of using this is you don't have to use the set to bind the input. So basically, get field decorator will do that for you. Okay. So let me show you the page itself. Okay. Okay, it take, might take a while to start up. This is the form that I've been created. So basically, um, in and design, the event is gonna be on 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 type. So when you remove all the tags, it's gonna show the validation. It's also with the same with this. So the validation is uh, built. I mean, run in real time. So you don't need to uh, wait until it's gonna be click or yeah and then so what's the other benefit with this get field decorator the other benefit is will be uh, handling the submit so I have this dream when I was doing form in HTML I don't I don't need to pick the value from the state right I just I just click submit and I will get all the values that cannot be happened with the react with React, so you need to get it from state. But with this get to decorator, yeah, you just simply pass it to your. Okay, sorry. So this is actually a, a function that I created. So this function is actually uh, wrapping the Axios Axios function to post. So I pass this form object from the component itself, and then I will. Uh, validate and fill and scroll to the uh, error that, that happened in my form. So basically, all the values inside the form will be consolidated into this uh, variable, and then you just pass it into your request. Basically, yeah. And the other thing that you can do with this get field decorator, you can also use this this form to set the error message from the server to your form. So basically, uh, when the error validation is happening in the server, you can get that data structure and then pass it to your form. So with this form, it can do validation both ways, first in the UI and second thing in the, in the server. Yeah. So basically, that's it for the form. And the other thing is, how do you test it? It's, on, it's important to, if you have done development, you need to test and ensure it's working. Yeah. So for me, I'm using Enzyme, Enzyme to do the DOM testing, and um, 
and using Zest as well to the uh, test framework. So, yeah, first it's easy, just mount it and ensure it's is it uh, crashing when you mount it, right? And, and this is the one that I want to show you. So I'm using Shell to test this. So basically, um, I will create a wrapper from the shallow function, and then I need to dive once. So after you shallow, shallow it doesn't render all the uh, dome structure. So basically, you need to dive, deep dive into the uh, into the uh, per level rendering. Yeah, so you can get the form object from the props itself. So you you need to get the form object to to manipulate the value from the form uh, in the props. Yeah. So basically, here I will set the value, and then when I get the build value, I will get the same get the same uh, value that I set here. So. If I can do that, that means my test is correct, right? And the other thing I, I want to verify when I want, so this scenario is submit the form, right? So when I validate the form, right, and then I will just call this uh, error function will that will receive error and values, then I believe that error is going to be truthy because the username is um, not defined yet, right? So that's basically how you handle form in uh, and design. Okay. And the other thing is, if you're not using and design, right? So this is so this topic is uh, thrown out by yours, right? So I'm representing and design, but how? What if you're not using and design? So. I liber take liberty to see what NDesign did, and actually they are using React High Order Form component, which is called RC Form. So you can get the uh, component from this GitHub and install it. So basically, if you go to the website in RC Form, it has the same structure as NDesign did. So you can use the same get field decorator, and actually there's another function you can use also get field props to populate the props in your input. So yeah, it's the same. But the difference only since, sorry, in end design, um, it's already coupled with the component. So when you have an error, you don't have to handle it. But in RC form, you need to do checking with uh, with this function which is called get field error but if you don't want to do that actually you can extend this uh, library to attach into your component yeah so thank you <laughs> when the um, the input field, you know, was marked red and show the error because it was required, was that using the, the native HTML input required argument or something proprietary? Um, basically, you can define that in the uh, rule validation in the get field decorator. So basically, you just make uh, required flag to be true and when you try to get the value right and then the form uh, framework will make that uh, field input to be dirty so in any side it will show automatically but if you using RC form you require to use the get field error with the field name to get the error uh, status of that field yeah. any more question been working with Ant Design for about a year now? Yes. Did you take it? And how, if you did, how did you come to the decision? Uh, it's not my decision, so... <laughs> 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 so, uh, the project itself is wasn't, it's not determined yet to use React. Right? So, it's a, it's a new project. 
So basically, um, we, can, we can have liberty to do anything that we want. Actually, I, I prefer to use do. <laughs> I prefer to use do. But, <laughs> but after I look back, yeah, I, I didn't regret to use React because React is really cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so how, how do I pick up? Yeah, I pick up very slowly. So I try to learn what is the uh, mindset of React. So basically, we haven't used Redux yet. So all our application is using local state and context API. So we haven't used Redux yet. So I want to know how to handle data inside the React. And yeah, it's, it's paid off the, the effort. Uh, currently, no, because we are not using Redux yet. But if we are using Redux, we, we're going to use the Redux form. So. Alright, uh, thank you. Thank you.